What's up video Ford nation? This is video for Ruan with another awesome video for tutorial. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to convert your footage into an image sequence. So the reason we're going to use an image sequence is um, because we need to import that into 3ds Max to actually match up our CG elements to our footage. And most visual effects applications um, or 3D applications actually require you to use an image sequence rather than an MOV file or an AVI file or something like that. So I did uh, provide the image sequence for this clip that we're going to be using. If you go into the project files, you can actually download them. But let me show you actually how to create them. So the easiest way I found is just to use After Effects. And yeah, let me show you quickly how to do that. So first of all, we're going to drag our clip into After Effects, into the project area. And then we're going to drag that into a new composition. So all you have to do is go to Composition and then go to Add to Render Queue. And then here at the bottom, click on Lossless. And then we're going to change the format from uh, QuickTime to PNG Sequence. So we are basically going to export as PNG image files. And channels, you can leave that as RGB because we don't have any alpha channel on our footage. And uh, then we're going to click on OK and we're going to specify an output folder. So just click on the output too. And I'm just going to create a, a new folder here just to show you guys how to do this. So I'm just going to call it IMG, click on create. And then you can obviously give it a name and then it will number those frames um, after the name. So that's fine. And then make sure you untick this save in folder or save in subfolder at the bottom because you actually want to save it right into the IMG folder. And let's click on save and then let's click on render. Okay, our render has completed. So let's just go to our uh, folder that we created and check if we see all these images. So yeah, we can see it starts at frame number one. And if we scroll down here, we'll see it ends at frame 200. So that tells us we've got 200 frames in our shot. So very importantly, you need to double check that and make sure that you exported exactly the amount of frames that is actually in your shot. So go back into your composition and I'm going to quickly show you how to double check this. So first of all, you can see just below this number here, you can see the frame number one. And if I just scroll forward, you can see uh, that's on 200. Now, sometimes your composition will actually start at frame zero. If that's the case, I'm going to show you quickly how to change that to start on frame one instead of zero. So right click in this area here, click on composition settings, and then make sure that your start time code has got a one at the end and not a zero, because if you set it to zero, let me just show you, this will start at zero and it will just make it a little bit more complicated to calculate. Basically, you just need to plus one but it's just so much easier if you just set this to start at number one. And then you can see exactly that your footage is 200 frames. So that's how you export your footage to an image sequence to use in 3ds Max. Also be sure to check out video4.com for some awesome clips to practice with. And I'll see you guys in the next video.